What's up guys, I'm back again with another video and today I have a collection video and before I get into this video I'm going to be telling you guys why I've been like collecting more of the Japanese pieces and everything like that. So as you guys know, I lived in Japan for 8 years and I was thinking like I have to have like a connection to a brand like I can not buy stuff um, that I really like but if I don't have like a connection to a brand I feel like it's kind of like meaningless to like keep buying stuff it's like you have this palace collection you have the supreme collection but what is why is, why is it that you're buying it it's because it's hype it's because it's everybody wants it but these pieces um they're not really hyped like that they're not really all that hyped and like people are not going after them as much but they retain value they're japanese brands um this is a japanese brand actually uh, because i'm only doing it on cavamp if you guys didn't know i'm doing a collection on cavamp so i have like five pieces to show you guys and i have an accessory i don't know if it, if it counts but there's six pieces actually so yeah that's pretty much it uh, i have a root in japanese brand no, not japanese brands but i have a root in japan i lived there for eight years what is shinonamai what much is this boku wa 24 sai desu boku wa nihon de 8 nenkan shin uh sunde imashita i just said I, my name is matisse i lived in japan for eight years and i'm 24 years old so i know i really know how to speak japanese so I thought that I need to get more into Japanese brand because that's my childhood and everything. So I kind of can relate to Japanese people. Um, I can relate to Japanese brands in a sense. So that's why I wanted to do this video and collect more Japanese brands. So Kevin is one of them. I have a piece from Undercover. Not a piece, but I have a sneaker from Undercover. I have a piece from, I keep saying piece, but... I have a sneaker from One Mountaineer and Adidas and everything like that. So I'm trying to go more into Japanese brands. Shout out to the casual. I really like watching your videos. I really learn about like how Japanese brands are, uh, how they came about and how they came up and everything like that. I really like watching your videos. I know you're not watching this, but shout out to you, man. But let's just get into the video. Uh, I have some cabin pieces. Um, I'm gonna try to take it up take them out of the rack so it's gonna be kind of like a little messy a disorganized video but first of all I want to show you guys this uh, Kevin glove right here so as you guys can see it's a glove it said Kevin on the on the back right here but uh, it's faded out because it's like 3M and everything and the red leathering is like almost coming off. But it's still cool. This is a glove I use for like work and stuff. Uh, driving and like shoveling snow and it's, it's, it's easier to do that because it keeps your hand warm. Of course that's what gloves are for but this is more kind of like for driving and everything like that. So yeah that's the Kevin glove. And I'm gonna go in order of my rack left to right. So I have this cavern piece right here. It's a red um, stuff on my cavern piece. But this is an embroidery hood. It has like a, a logo right there, cavern right there. Of course, it has the all important patch right there. The 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 back stitching, not the stitching, but the screen print or whatever it is um in the of course inside it has it has the uh tag right there so i don't know if you guys can see that but it has a tag right there and on the back it's like the the imprint of that tag on the outside so this is a piece right here this is my first piece uh not including the gloves very nice in my opinion let's move on to the next piece so I picked this up uh, not too long ago. This is a Cavam uh, turtleneck um, piece. Of course, it has a, the, the um, tag right there. It's like a turtleneck. For the upper part is gray, and the bottom part is blue. It's like a light blue. Nothing too much to say about it. It's a simple piece. I'm just getting to the brand, not not the the, the logos and everything like that. I don't, I don't care too much about the logo. 
I'm trying to get into the pieces, trying to collect them and have our own collection for Cavan. Undercover, Waco Maria, uh, Wa Double Taps and all that good stuff. I'm trying to get into more of those brands so you're going to see a lot more of those brands coming in from Japanese, like Japanese brands so stay tuned for that but that's pretty much it man. Uh, but I have more Cavan pieces, let's move on to the next piece. <clears throat> so this piece is a pretty hot piece. Uh, this goes for a pretty penny, like about 300 bucks on grail and stuff. But um, it's like the pullover. Uh, it, ha it says Cavamp right there, and this is like a different material, like a nylon material. It has brown right there on the on the the arms and the shoulder area, and it has the same as on the symmetric side. On the other side, it has brown also. And it has gray on the middle and says cabin right there and it has like these stretch things that you can adjust your your hoodie and hoodie stuff so yeah that's pretty much it it says cabin on the back also I had to dry clean this once because I felt like going down like a hill and it was all dirty but I had to dry clean this so I had to take care of this now because I don't want to dry clean it again so let's move on to the next piece the next piece is a, a little bit more simpler uh, this is a car vent Ooh, did something fail? that's gonna be edited <laughs> uh, now it's not gonna be edited but <laughs> uh, yeah but this is the uh, car vent cardigan of course it has an important patch right there nothing too special the car vent tag is right there and on the back, I feel like this is like 3M, but I'm not sure. It like it looks like it's 3M, but I, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The cabin car again. Like I said, I'm not trying to go for the the most hot piece or anything like that. I'm just trying to go for what I like and what look I feel like I can use in my collection. I can wear for my wardrobe and everything like that. So that's why I'm going for these cardigans, turtlenecks, and stuff like that. Not just the the logo heavy stuff so that's pretty much it for the piece right here and for my last piece it's a it's a little bit more logo heavy uh, it has like the design on the, the front right here this is like my only like design heavy uh, piece right here it says articles may not be exchanged it has a three lips with the nose right there like part of the face uh, nothing too special about it it's just a streetwear esque um, piece right here nothing too special um, it has a red um, cut and sewn piece right there gray black and of course on my back he has the stitching right there so that's pretty much it of course he has the cavet patch right there so that's pretty much it for my cavern collection I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be copying a lot more cabin pieces in the future, so stay tuned for that. But um, that's pretty much it. Like the video if you like this video. Um, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm going to be doing more uh, videos like this. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Spread peace. Not nah, hate. Nothing else to say, man. Bye-bye. Dashi, Dachi, Dachi. That's a reference to Dashi. If you